April has arrived and it is time for a late opening of my April birch box. I think I have this upside down thing. There we go. So um, every month I get my birch box, I open it for you guys. Uh, this is in no way sponsored in any way, shape, or form. They don't even give me a discount. Anything that's in this box, if I hate it, you're going to hear about it because um, that's how I do my stuff. And I have a weird habit of setting my shaker bottle down, hanging out on my sewing machine, forgetting that it's there. Okay, um, I don't check my emails. So whatever's in the box, I have no idea. I forgot to personalize this one too. And um, I am really looking forward to seeing what's in it and uh, finding out with you guys. So, my last video, March, went up really, really, really late. And the reason for that was I was busy, but um, this one arrived before I had uh, edited and put up that video. So I'm, I'm gonna try to be a little more on track with that from here on out. But, um, gotta start with a clean face, hair out of the way, and then we'll get this thing open, find out uh, what all is in it, what I like, what I hate. Supposedly, they curate these things specifically for the person they send it to, and if that is so, then what I get would be different from what other people get out of a selection of items each month. So this should be interesting. I've had some real wins with their skincare stuff. Um, there's a red nail polish that I really, really liked. And uh, most of the hair care stuff is not curly friendly. So I pass that off to my mom who could probably use some curly specific products, but uh, she doesn't while they're trying to do the whole curly girl method thing. So, that, as that's not right up her alley, at least have somebody pass those samples off too. And um, if you watch my, if you haven't watched my other videos, then you'll know. If you've watched my other videos, you'll know that I have had some issues with the company trying to get them to stop sending me so much uh, hair care stuff. And so I am in the market for a different beauty subscription. Yeah, so if you know of any that'll suit me better after I cancel this in August, leave a comment, let me know. I don't want to keep going with these if, if they're not going to take it, uh, their customers seriously on the whole hair care thing. So this is a bamboo cotton round and micellar water because I have very sensitive skin and it works on like everything. I've even got my mom using the micellar water. It just It just takes everything off without like stripping the skin in a harsh way. So I love that. Also the water quality where I live is uh, pretty bad. So being able to cleanse delicate skin without having to rinse it is fantastic. I also try to get my teenage son to use that simply because he's very lazy and doesn't want to wash his face. So let's see what's in the box. The whole flap's coming off. I should move my little trash can over here. Okay, one more. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Uh, let's see what the um, reusable box is gonna look like this time. Oh. Oh, that's right. I think I saw a uh, email on this. This is not a reusable box. This is actually a silicone bag, so it is washable. If if you like, drop it, and a compact just flipping shatters and gets everywhere inside it, you can wash it out. And the stuff mostly looks to be on in there. Okay, uh, let's dig into this. Remember, not sponsored. Uh, this is called a stasher. The word stasher is in raised little things, but um, since that's raised on the outside, I'm going to assume that means that the inside will be pretty washable. This is, this is looking sturdy. This is like a giant Ziploc zipper. 
Maybe I'll leave this one and be like a little less inappropriate there. Ooh. Okay, I found one of my samples. Um, I, I really should, I should get the card here, but uh, I'm just noticing the arrow brand of whatever this is. Uh, Radiant Skin Moisturizer. I liked the arrow uh, nourishing lip oil in Boost so much that I actually ordered a full size. Um, that would be a rare thing for me. That would be a uh, like a rare treat for me, but it was like 15 bucks. And they ship it free in your birch box if you do it right. So that was that was cool. So you save on shipping when you buy from them like that. Okay. Um the card, the card that tells us all the stuff that's in there, along with the prices for the full size stuff. Here we go. Uh super casual spring clean challenge. No one has time for a full spring clean, so we're focusing on our beauty stuff and more drawer. I don't have one of those. I have it as shelf of cluttered stuff up here. And sometimes it migrates up and down in the bookcase. How to get started. Take everything out, split into piles, what to keep, donate, and to be determined, and then arrange to your liking. Pro tip. If your your new stasher bag works wonders when it comes to drawer, organi drawer organizing, you're, you're reaching, fellas. And so do empty birch boxes from months past. Except that those reusable boxes are usually pretty flimsy cardboard, and then the one time they sent me this solid, clear acrylic box, it was really thin, and the corner was already busted when I got it. So, I, so far, I, I haven't reused any of these, but I, I'm really thinking I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like using the stasher, depending on how well it zips and unzips, because I have some fun hand function issues, especially when it comes to gripping, which I use my knuckles, because my Dumb is hypoplastic, which means underdeveloped. Okay, so drawer organizing. And so do empty birch boxes from months past. If you use your stasher bag and empty birch boxes to get organized, we want to see it. Tag us in your before and afters on Instagram. We will be sharing ours throughout the month too. Happy spring. No thanks. Um, I don't plan on Instagramming that because usually I, I don't know. I use my Instagram for more personal stuff, friends and family. Um, and, and kind of trolling people. I had an interesting Instagram moment. At one point, I, I used uh, some tags and a scam bot sent me a message. We know you. We totally want to collab with you. Message this other account. And I'm like, no, not interested. Okay. Um, let me see if I can get a good focus on that. And then you guys can pause on that. If you want to get into all the stuff, I'll try to remember to mention what the prices for the full size stuff um, as I'm going. So, yeah, first thing I saw was first thing on that list, too. Okay, so Arrow Radiant Skin Moisturizer Revive. This is, uh, this is sim similar to the lip oil I liked. It says that the lightweight moisturizer has a subtle sheen to illuminate your skin and hyaluronic acid and aloe to hydrate and soothe use in the morning alone or under makeup. In the, it's supposed to be a clean beauty product. It's supposed to be an exclusive, which means you should only be able to get it through Birchbox, I guess. And it's woman founded and the full size is $24. I don't know how, how big the uh, full size is. Oh, it's sealed. I like that. Some of these little samples don't come with a little seal on there, and uh, that occasionally concerns me. I didn't used to be a germaphobe. I've had to become one for my health. All right, so starting with a clean face. Let me try this out. Okay. Smells like um, a cross between lotion and um, sunblock. I don't know if there's any SPF to it, though. Um, there is... It doesn't feel greasy, but there's, like, definitely moisture. Like, I, it, my skin definitely feels moisturized. Um, I'm getting a little bit of a burn right through here, so might not be the best for sensitive skin. I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes, go on to the next few things, and um, I'll let you guys know if that starts, like, messing with me. Okay, what's next? Yeah, 
Okay, next up on the list is the Grace and Stella Rosewater Facial Mist. A full size is $25. It says this calming rose spray helps hydrate skin, reduce redness, and maintain the skin's pH balance. Spray tend it 12 inches from face whenever you need a refresh. Once finished, reuse the spray bottle with any of your favorite spray products. Okay, but is it like a moisturizer? Hydrating facial spray. I mean, technically you could just say that about water, couldn't you? Mist four or five sprays on the face with eyes closed before or after makeup. Um, okay. I mean, you can get rose water next to the vanilla in the baking section. So... You pop that in a spray bottle, that's going to cost a lot less than $25. You can probably also just get like regular hyaluronic acid from the vitamin section. Just grab a serum. Uh, discontinue of irritation occurs. Okay. I don't normally spray things straight on my face ever since I watched someone dear to me who had had a couple too many at... A renaissance festival spray himself in the face with the uh, sunblock in a closed vehicle but uh, this is this is not anything with a propellant this is just a little spray bottle um let's see what's in the ingredients deionized water butylene glycol aloe barbatus leaf water rose extract Something I can't pronounce. Hamo, hamamelis extract glycerin. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, there's a little tiny bit of olive fruit oil in it. Phenoxythanol and rosa essence. I don't want to just like me spray myself in the face. I know I just put the. Okay. It smells like a rose perfume I've had before. Okay, so let's see how this goes. I don't know. I don't know that that actually did anything. Like, how would you know when you need a refresh? You're like that uh, that one lady from Doctor Who, stretched out trampoline lady who was all like, uh, moisturize me, and then she pooped because she had all her bones removed. She was stretched out. She was supposed to be the last human. Cassandra, I think it was. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of point to this. I'll be honest. Okay, what is next? Magnetone London Wipe Out Swipes Equal Friendly Makeup Remover Pads. Full size, six pack, 20 bucks. So, so a full size, a full size is only six of them. Oh, apparently they can be reused thousands of times to clean, just wash in your normal laundry load. So, kind of like my bamboo cotton rounds. What are they made out of? Magnetone London 2-pack wipe out swipes. Eco-friendly microfiber. Okay. Microfiber what though? I do have a uh, similar thing I got an eraser face cloth. And uh, I do use that to take off massive amounts of makeup. If I only have a little bit on, I use the micellar water on a bamboo round. I'm not seeing anything like if it's made out of cotton or what, but okay. Warm water only. No cleansers or chemicals needed, eco-friendly, no more single-use cotton pads and wipes. Um, quick drying, smear-proof and double-sided. Okay. Oh my goodness, these are fluffy. These are like, feels like a stuffed animal. So it's, uh, it's got a gray and white, and don't let the camera fool you, the, the blue is definitely coming from my ring light back here. But um, 
That is gray and fluffy like a brand new teddy bear. How many teddy bears had to suffer so that you could remove your makeup? Smear proof and double sided, no residue. It says warm water only, no cleansers or chemicals, but I'm I'm willing to bet that the uh, micellar water would probably not damage it. Um, looks like two pieces of microfiber sewn together because I'm I'm pulling on this, and it seems to be an empty pouch. But uh, I don't know, that could be glue. Yeah, looking a little closer, maybe it is glue. I don't have any makeup on to take off, so rather than going and trying to use these right away, I'm. Wait a minute, this is supposed to be a two pack. Why is this one pink? There's. Why do I have a three pack? Okay, well, apparently, this is 10 bucks worth of these. It's a card. Uh. Okay. Okay. No explanation. Great. I would be hesitant to put these in the dryer, and I, I don't really know what's up with this. If they... Okay. <laughs> You're confusing me. What, have... what is next? Okay. Magnetone limit. No. Re.fill. Refillable beauty balm. Not just a lip balm. This is your multi-use balm for anything, plus it's refillable. Oh, you, you can buy the refills and have them shipped to you. Fun. Made with a blend of natural oils, hyaluronic acid, ceramides, and squalane. It hydrates and conditions dry skin, helps promote skin barrier function, and leaves a protective layer that's light and soft. Apply to lips, cuticles, dry patches of skin, or anywhere you need. Refills sold separately. This says that a full size is uh, $12. So, I don't know, do you, can you buy refills for the sample size? And when you get them, do you, like, do you pop them out or what? It smells like somebody melted down a crayon and added a tiny pinch of VIX to it. Okay. We're doing the moisturizers. I haven't done much yet. Okay. Protective layer that's light and soft. Okay. There's a slight greasy feeling to it that the, I think would bother a few people, but not many. And this is supposed to be for pretty much anywhere. Nothing's burning, so I guess that's good. It's kind of like a lightweight moisturizer. It looks like it's kind of sitting on the top of the skin. I don't know if that's going to sink in. It is kind of like, um, kind of like some of the better lip balms that sink in a bit. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not convinced. And I'm not sure that shipping them is really saving that much plastic because they'd have to be in something pretty protective to get here in a usable format. So nice idea, probably not great execution. All right, last thing. Unless I think this is the last thing. What is this? Oh, this is a how to use your stasher bag. You can wash it in the dishwater washer or with warm soapy water to protect seams. Avoid turning your bag inside out. Leave the seal partially open for microwave or oven use. What? Keep it temperatures of 400 or below. What are you going to melt in there? Microwave, stove top, freezer, dishwasher, oven, and you can sous vide cook in it. So, what? 
I mean, it's a good size for a grilled cheese sandwich, but I I could make a microwave omelet in this bag. And just knowing that, I am kind of, I, I, I just might, I just might, um, woods are sharp objects. Okay. 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 I might. I mean, that could be fun. Okay. Uh, where was I <laughs> before I got distracted by the fun stuff? Um, Vita masks. Detox Leafy Green Sustainable Sheet Mask, full size, $5. This biodegradable sheet mask detoxifies and purifies pores. It is one use. Apply to cleanse skin and leave on for 20 minutes. Pat remaining serum into skin. Okay, that is at the bottom of the list. I could have done this before the other stuff. But instead, I am going to go ahead and clean my face again. And uh, I'll try it out. You know what? I am going to I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna go grab some warm water, clean my face with this thing, and uh, I'll let you guys know how that works. Then we'll try the sheet mask. Okay, um, took a minute for my sink to heat up, but yep, warm water, only warm water. Not much to take off though, but just a little bit of moisturizer and balm, I guess, and the rose water thing. Um, I wasn't sure how much water to press out, so. I may have underdid it. It's like dragging a wet teddy bear across my face. Okay. Um, you know what? That can go right there. It's quick drying, huh? Balm's not coming off my lip very good. Okay. Um, biodegradable sheet mask and eco pouch. What's eco about the pouch? Okay, Vitamask Detox Leafy Green Sustainable Sheet Mask, full size $5, Biodegradable Sheet Mask Detoxifies, Purifies, Apply Cleanse Skin, Leave on 20 minutes. Uh, made with kale, spinach, celery, green tea, willow bark, charcoal, and glutathione. Glutathione? Vegan, clean, adaptogenic, probiotic, eco-friendly. Supposed to be very sustainable. Why does it say that the pouch is eco? Detox the grains. Uh, Plant-based packaging. Production carbon emission reduced by 84% by the gradable natural plant cellulose, uh, cellulose sheet. Okay. Wash and cleanse. So you can't just wash or cleanse. You have to wash and cleanse your face in preparation of applying your mask. Remove the mask from its packaging, place it lightly on the face, avoiding the eyes and lips. Why? <laughs> what are you putting on me? After 20 minutes, remove the sheet from the face and gently pat to your face to let the remaining essence absorb into the skin. Avoid contact with eyes. What is compressed moisturizer and why would I react poorly to it? Oh well, this should be fun. Uh, looking at the ingredients, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot that I would object to. But that doesn't mean I can't have a bad reaction to it anyway. Especially with that last one on there. Fragrance. So, let's find out how this goes. Alright, I'll give a chance to tear first. Okay, that's that wasn't too difficult. I don't think I've used the scissors once. This smells like... It smells like uh, the perfume aisle that I avoid. I have a few types of perfume I like, but this is, um, remove the, uh, cook stuff in it bag. Oh, gosh! It looks like the inside of, uh, big old chunk of aloe. How do I unfold this? Oh, it's so gooey. Alright, I think I see eye holes. And a nose hole. Wait, are you coming apart? Stop it. Oh no, don't tear, don't tear. Are you, are you supposed to go that way? Wait. Is it, did I tear it? Did I screw this up? I kind of messed it up. 
Oh, found it. I think we found the face. What's that one movie where that guy cuts people's faces off? Texas Chainsaw Massacre or something? I don't know. I'm, I'm grossly underexposed to uh, classic horror films. I'll try to rectify that. Okay, uh... Let's see how we do. So to stay off my lips, stop it. Okay. Like, are you unrolling or are you just like stuck there? Stop talking inanimate objects and then referring to yourself in the third person, Sarah. just apply this false face to my own face. A little creepy. Super creepy. Oh, that looks even creepier on camera. Um, in the mirror this doesn't look that bad. Um, I know it looks like it's a like clear plastic or something, but it feels almost like fabric. Oh, this is weird. This would be enough to scare the living daylights out of my youngest, who has watched too many horror movies. And it looks, once it's on, it looks like it's on, um, like damp tissue paper. Okay. This thing is not sitting evenly. I got a big old patch here, and I got a weird patch here, and it's coming up here. Where are, where are the edges of this? Don't get in my eyes, okay? Okay. So I'm not supposed to go on the lips. Awkward. Alright, I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes and we'll see how this goes. And then I will be back. Okay, it has been 20 minutes. And let's see how this goes. Ah, it's peeling off my face. Ew. Um, there's still seems to be fluid in the bottom of this thing. Oh well, that'll be fine. It's supposed to work this stuff into the skin. It's not burning or anything. But, um... I don't know, there was a lot of spots where that mask didn't hit. Ow. I'm developing an eyebrow pimple, and that's painful. So... This is a full size for this sample. Is it five dollars? But... I don't know if that really counted as full size or if there's more sheet masks in a full size. Um, not horrible, I guess. I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference so far. It's an awful lot of fluid, though. Like, there's so much of it. And you're supposed to just, like, let it sink in, but that's what it's been doing for the last 20 minutes. I don't know. Let it dry. This is taking forever. I don't normally have sheet masks have this much fluid in them. I mean, that is the point of them. But, uh, I don't know. There's kind of a heaviness to this liquid. I mean, it's it's gotta be water-based, right? But, um, it's taking forever. It's gotta be all the glycerin. It's a little bit slippery, like, like when you don't get all the soap off your hands when you wash them. So it's less like lotion and more like... I don't know, it's super slippery. It's not oily though, and I, I kind of feel confused by that. Well, if I react poorly at any of this stuff, you'd be able to tell on my uh, April 19th video for my daily vlog, or the second half of the April 18th video. Um, because that's what day it is. But, um, yeah, I, I'm kind of intrigued by the whole bag thing. Hang on. Put my hand on my jeans. Um, there's a little sticker on, on the stasher bag. It says sandwich pineapple. 
I assume pineapple is the color, which is kind of fitting. It's a little bit yellow. And, oh, that's just coming right off. Um, so it is a sandwich bag. Reusable sandwich bag. This is neat. Okay, I'm gonna try out this giant Ziploc. Oh man. Does it open though? Okay. If I can't get this open with just my hands, we may have a problem. It was open when I got it. It's now closed. And aside from sticking things in here to work it open, I'm not sure that's gonna it's gonna happen. Big drawback. What is the point of this if I can't get the dang thing open? Okay, my nail polish is coming off. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try this again. Because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to open it from the middle and not from the corners, but... Okay. One more time from the other side. Okay, I am having a much easier time breaking the seal where you're not supposed to open it. Um, that could turn into long-term damage, I suppose. Okay, yeah, it looks like I'm going to be stuck opening this from the corner. If I cook in this, I will let you guys know. And at which point, if, if I do that, I will add a link in the description to that. Because that would be fun. Um making food in a makeup pouch. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed checking out all these products with me. None of this was sponsored. No discount codes. None of it. Um, face mask is pretty much sunk in. I don't know. I'm just leaving a whole bunch of this stuff on my skin. Oh, there's charcoal powder in it. Great. Um, I will see you guys next month with my May birch box. Or you can check out my daily vlog or crafts and things that I do. And um, thanks uh, for hanging out.